Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Yurt Nation Reactions. I am Tyrone. Today on the channel, we got She-Hulk Peach meeting. I thought that the pit that the She-Hulk was. I thought we were done with this. To be honest with you, because um, after my honest uh, trailer review, I was I was like, I guess we're not gonna have any more content talking about this and talking about what the uh, writers did and all that stuff to 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 get on the trolls and things like that. People get into my comments of uh, my uh, reaction to the honest trailer of She-Hulk, and they were talking to me about this, and talking to me about that, and uh, back and forth and stuff like that. But I don't know. I, I just don't. I just don't uh, understand why they did that. <laughs> but maybe Ryan can uh, can uh, get some sense and to talk some sense to me about this. But that's it's my least favorite Marvel show. It's on Disney Plus, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, you have some new Disney Plus content for me? Yes, sir, I do. Although I am kind of worried we might be oversaturating people with Marvel stuff at the moment. Maybe we should take a breather yeah. between projects for a sec. No. Well, okay then. So I was making my way down the list of Marvel characters we haven't brought into the MCU yet, and I was thinking we could make a She-Hulk show. Oh, yeah, we haven't done that character yet. That sounds like money to me. Yeah, and it's a real fun character, because in the sounds comics, like she was me. breaking the fourth wall even before Deadpool. You know, I can see that working well in Deadpool movies, or comic books, but do you think it might lower the impact of the overall MCU to have a character that knows that they're in a cinematic universe? Hey, shut up. So we're gonna meet Jennifer Walters, who's a lawyer and also Bruce Banner's cousin. He's from the movies! He sure is, sir. And so they get into a car accident and she gets some of his blood in her blood. Oh, unexpected blood combos are tight. Ugh. Okay, and so hey. since they're related, she turns into a Hulk as well. Oh, wow, wow, wow. 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 And so Bruce is going to show her some cool stuff about being a Hulk. Like, you can drink alcohol and not get drunk. Why would you want that? Pretty That's cool, right? Not really. And so he's going to teach her and try <laughs> to guide her through these new powers, and she's going to kind of make fun of him and insult him. So that going to be fun. That kind of makes her seem a little rude and mean. He's just trying yeah. to help her because he cares about her. Plus, she doesn't really want his help. Plus, she's already kind of mastered the whole Hulk thing already. Oh, she has? Yes, sir. She's already fantastic and agile, and she could turn into She-Hulk at will without losing control of herself at all. How is that possible? I feel like it took Bruce a long time to master all that. Well, Jen explains to Bruce that because she's been catcalled and mansplained to, and some men are straight up dangerous, she's much better at controlling her anger than Bruce because she's had to do it infinitely more it's than the he trolling, has. Okay, yeah, no, I mean, I see what she's saying, and in no way do I want to belittle what women have to go through at all. Careful. But also, she's saying this to Careful. Bruce Banner, who saved the planet multiple times and lost yes. his best friend and his yes. love interest. All hard times. A monster and chased by governments and turned into a gladiator so she had slave it easier. on an alien planet. Tried to take his own life. It's really? Like, of all people, Bruce. Yeah, okay, so I know what you're saying, and it's actually not okay for you to point that out. Oh, okay, my bad. No, it's too late. You're on a list now. You can't have any opinions about this show without being classified as being on one extreme of a very complicated issue. Ah, dang it. I hate being on lists. So anyway, <laughs> Jen goes back to her life as a lawyer, and during a trial, a super-powered influencer which is a thing in the MCU now apparently burst through the wall. Uh-oh. And so then towards the end of the first episode, Jen's gonna turn into She-Hulk and everyone's gonna learn that she has powers. Wow, and so what else do we find out in the first episode? Oh, well, you know Captain America? Yeah. He put his pee-pee in a lady. What? Then Jen gets fired from her lawyer job and gets hired at another firm to start like a superhero law division. Okay, so this becomes kind of like a lawyer show. Ah, kinda. Sometimes. Kinda. A little. Do you know how to write courtroom scenes? Nope, and then no. so also it's gonna be kind of a slice of life kind of show. Like Jen's gonna go on dates and stuff. Right, okay, does she also fight crime or? Eh, not so much. So like, what, w what happens? Oh, well stuff, you know, sometimes. All right, is there, can you? <laughs> You gotta give me something, please. Oh, well, at a certain point, she's gonna represent Emil Blonsky, so that's gonna be pretty cool. I don't think I know who that is. Remember? You know, he was in the movie. Abomination. The, the, 14 years ago, he was in the movie. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, no, it wasn't a super memorable character, but yeah. Well, it doesn't really matter, to be honest, because he's just a completely different character now. Oh, okay, great. It's all connected. Also, Wong is gonna show up sometimes. He's from the movies. He is, and he's gonna become friends with this girl, Madison. And what's her deal? She's always drunk. And she's the absolute best part of the show. Nice. She also, at hilarious. a certain point, She-Hulk is gonna twerk with Megan the Stallion. What? Superheroes don't usually twerk. <laughs> exactly. So people are gonna twerk? be like, what? And then other people are gonna be, you know, 
deeply angry about it. Oh my God, what? You know, see, that's gonna be kind of a thing in I'm the not show to rile weird. up angry internet dudes and then make fun of them for getting riled up. That's gonna be really good for the state of internet discourse, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna help with all the toxicity online, I'm pretty sure. So any interesting plot threads or anything I should know about? Oh, there's like this group of toxic dudes that call themselves Intelligentsia, and they're trying to get some of She-Hulk's blood. Oh boy, I bet that's gonna come into play later. <laughs> What the hell was that noise? It was like the very eh, last episode. It. What did it mean, though? Well, see, we're gonna get to the finale, and it's gonna be set up like a big Marvel showdown, you know? Oh, okay. So there's gonna be this toxic dude that turns into a Hulk, and then Bruce shows up, and Abomination's there, and it's gonna be this big showdown type thing. Uh-oh, gonna be hard for her to get out of that situation. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, Jen is gonna break the fourth wall and be like, is this working for anyone? Okay. She's gonna be like, this is kind of crappy, right? Where this show's going, it's not good. That's we're making the show. We are, yeah. And so then she's gonna go into the <laughs> Disney Plus menu and eventually into the She-Hulk writer's room. What is going on? Then eventually meet with the head of Marvel, who as it turns out is just this creatively bankrupt robot algorithm making formulaic decisions based on what it thinks is popular. Kind of hurtful. And so she's gonna get him <laughs> to solve the few problems that were actually happening in the show, and then we're pretty much done. So does it just pointing out that the writing wasn't very good make it better in some way? God, I hope so. Do you think we risk making any future She-Hulk or even Marvel projects less captivating by having a super meta character that can yes. literally change the script of the shows and movies That's what she did. I don't think you could ever go too meta, sir. Isn't that right, future me who's editing this video? Uh, you know, I'm, that's a great question, but I, I'm not, like, I'm just filming myself pretending to edit this video. You know, I'm not actually editing this right now. Oh, maybe we should check with the comment section of this video. I mean, what do you guys think down there in YouTube comment section? Is it possible to get too meta? Super easy! Easy. Barley and inconvenience. Right, okay, that's pretty much all they say down there, I think. So anyway, what do you think? <laughs> I did just zone out for like 30 seconds. So anyway, what do you think? I mean, it sounds like a pretty good time. I just feel like it's missing a little something to make sure that people tune in. I've got just the thing. Then over return to tease, exactly. Hi everybody, it's Ryan George here. Thanks for watching that pitch meeting. I hope you oh, liked it. Don't God. forget to subscribe. Man, see? That, that was my point. He pointed out a lot of the stuff that the writers intentionally did. They said that they intentionally did this to troll toxic toxic men. But my, my whole point was, why would you do that to only a minimum, like a short minority? Not a majority, a minority. The majority of people who like Marvel is people who don't know nothing about Marvel. So, but you shoving all this stuff and, and the problems that... that uh, that, that these 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 dudes have with female woke bullshit uh, to everybody, and that's not cool, man. <laughs> that's not cool. And the head writer, she was like, I don't really know how to write a lawyer show. All this stuff is already out there for you guys to go ahead and research and, and look at. But yeah, man, it's definitely like it's it's so crazy that this show became under. Hawkeye for me because I did not like Hawkeye except for the last two episodes so it was crazy it was it was the Kate Bishop show and I was like make the show hers don't call it Hawkeye make it her show <laughs> okay it's like get get Hawkeye out of here if it's just gonna be concentrated on her <laughs> but anyway I thought this was hilarious man uh let me know what you thought about this in the comments down below and if you like my reaction hit that thumbs up it really does help out the channel if you're new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button Hit that notification bell to stay up to date with everything I do right here on your nation reactions. See you in another video. Peace.